Hello, this is Mr. Mabry, and it's time to do some periodic table coloring. Now, in order to do this, you need to make sure you have two pieces of paper. The first should be the one you see on your screen right here. It's a blank periodic table that we're going to color in. The second is this grid right here that says periodic table color coloring at the top with all the different element groups and names. All right, let's get started. Also, Make sure you have some colored pencils and highlighters. You want to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different colors ideally. Um, but if you only have a couple, you can reuse them, but really try to have seven. Okay, here we go. So it looks like the first group we're going to learn about on the periodic table are the alkali metals. So let's go ahead and we'll fill in our information going across, and then we're going to color those alkali metals in the periodic table. All right, alkali metals. First, as the name implies, they are indeed metals. And because they are metals, yes, they are solids at a room temperature. It's going to make all this text the same color. And they uniquely have one electron in their outer shells. Now, we don't really know a lot about electrons yet, um, other than we know that atoms have them. But this is special to know that as those electrons are zooming around the atom, they have one lone rogue electron. So pretend my fist is the atom, and there's this one little guy who's going, neural, 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 and he's always the outermost guy in these atoms. And because they have that one rogue electron that's farther out than all the rest of the electrons, that's going to influence how reactive they are. So in the reactivity column, we are going to say they are very exclamation point reactive. What's also unique about them is they are very soft and silvery to look at. Here's a picture of the periodic table with actual images of all these different elements. And so as you look over here, here are alkali earth metals, and you can see, I know you're thinking, well, they don't look very soft, but they are a softer consistency than like a hard rock that you would probably picture. And you can see a lot of them are pretty silvery, except for that hydrogen gas up there. Um, good examples of the alkali metals would be potassium, which is found in bananas, and sodium which is found in salt and now for this last column you see it says textbook 1.3 factoid you need to go into your textbook and look through and find the page that talks about the alkaline metals and I want you to put one more neat little fact that it tells you in there okay so now it's time to color our periodic table um, for the section for alkaline metals so what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my box this is where you want to color your your box something maybe it's yellow or green I chose yellow and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to insert since I'm doing this on a computer and I don't have a highlighter I have to just put a box over this right here and I'm gonna fill my box fill my box with yellow so it matches the same highlighter there we go those are my alkali metals all right one group down, a few more to go. Let's talk about the alkaline earth metals, which I think I'll go ahead and make, let's make them green. Cool, okay. These are also metals. Let's make this red. So I've got metals. They are still solids because they're metals, but now because they are one group over, they have two electrons in their outermost shell. So again, remember, this is like an atom, and if those electrons are going neural, 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 buzzing around, now there's two of them that are going the farthest out away from the nucleus. Alkali metals had one lone electron neural, and this one has two. And because it has two, it is somewhat reactive. And you're going to know what we mean by reactive as you watch those videos for warm-ups every day and you see the different experiments on the video. And trust me, the, the reactive ones are the fun ones to see. Other properties of alkaline earth metals is they are malleable. Malleable means they're easy to form. And a lot of them tend to be white. And as I click on the picture here, see a lot of them are white and light in color like the alkaline metals. 
Examples of these that you may know, there is calcium, which you can find in your bones, and magnesium, which is found in a lot of fertilizers. Okay, there's the space for your one factoid, and I'm now going to go up here, and I'm going to draw my square. Here we go, and I need to make it green because that is what Mr. Mabry wants me to do. Green, like my highlighter, sort of. All right, moving on. Time for our transition metals. Let's see, what color am I gonna highlight with? I think I will do pink. Transition metals, guess what? It is still a metal, and because it's a metal, it's, that's right, still a solid. Now, for number of electrons in their outer shell, um, this is a large group, and so there can be really anywhere from two to four different electrons in that outer shell. And as far as reactive, they are uh, not really. They're not really reactive at all. But you know what? I just had a change of heart. So instead of not really, I'm thinking let's write the least, because they are a little bit. Um, other properties, these are really good conductors, and as you know from earlier science classes, conductors mean they move electricity really well. And where'd my sheet go? Oh yes, these are the examples everyone knows. We've got gold, we've got silver, we've got platinum, we've got copper. These should all be really familiar to you guys. Now let's go up in color. Since I chose pink, let's see if this is faster. I'm going to start here. I'm going to extend my box all the way here, but I need to make sure it is pink and not green. All right, pink, where are you? Uh-oh, where's my pink? Pink, pink, there we go, a nice bold pink. That is purple, awkward, not pink. Okay, pink, 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 there we go. I am not colorblind. Great.